Recently I had a teacher ask me, what version of Windows am I running? She was going to install some software and I was asking her some questions. She didn't know the answers. It turns out there's really two parts to the answer. The first is the version. The second is what's called the system type. The version you're probably familiar with, you've seen things like XP or Windows 7 or Windows 10. The second part you might not be as familiar with. There's two system types, 32-bit or 64-bit, and these are numbers that determine how much memory Windows can use. 32-bit allows you to use 3.2 gigabytes. 64-bit allows you to use 192 gigabytes. That's more than 20 times than most of us are using right now, so that's a lot of memory. Uh, on our teacher laptops, our HPs have four gigabytes of memory and our Dells have eight, but the HPs are running 32-bit windows, which means they can only address about three-fourths of the amount of memory that they have. That means we aren't using all of the memory that those computers have because of this version of Windows. So our Dells are running 64-bit windows, which lets us address all eight gigabytes of memory, plus, like I said, 192, a whole lot more if we ever added it. So where can you find out what version and system type you're running? You do this by opening Windows Explorer. That's the Windows key followed by the letter E. And in Windows Explorer, select computer. This might say my computer or this computer or this PC. From the menu, select properties. This will show you the properties of your computer, including the version of Windows and the system type. If you're running Windows 8, similar information in a similar spot, as well as uh, Windows 10, tells you the same information in roughly the same spot. So if you ever go to a website that has you download and install software and you're asked, do you have the 32 or 64-bit version of Windows, now you have a way to find out that information.